Hi, I'm Mark from the GameSite support team. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the robust Postbacks or webhook system that GameSite has available. Postbacks can be sent to ad networks, BI platforms, or even other external services of your choice. Postbacks are sent as HTTP requests to an external web server, and most frequently those are going to be GET or POST requests. GameSlate also has deep integrations with most of the larger ad networks like Facebook, Google Ads, Campaign Manager, Twitter, TikTok, and many, many more. Uh, where you can configure Postbacks to get your attributed conversion data sent back to the ad network for automated campaign optimization, audience creation, retargeting, and more uh, in order to basically supercharge the performance of your campaigns. So we could take a look at a couple of different examples of postbacks, what they look like, and how to actually access them through GameSite. So once you're logged in, under the Acquisition tab here on the far left-hand side, we click on Trackers, and that's going to take you to all of the trackers that you have created. Now, before looking at a network tracker, it's important to note that any postbacks that you set up on a specific network tracker are specific to that tracker only. They're not going to be automatically inherited or populated by any other network tracker. So any network that supports postbacks that you once you have them set up for, it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and make sure that you actually have them set up on the postbacks tab for every single network. In this case, we'll just look at Google Ads. And if I click the postbacks tab on the far right, it looks like we currently do not have any set up. So quick and easy to set up. If I've already gone through the Google Ads documentation on the GameSite website, um, I can go ahead and click Add Post Back, and we can choose which goal we want to have sent back to Google Ads just by clicking this Search for Goals field. This is going to populate a drop-down list that has every single goal that you currently have created in GameSite. So in this case, we'll click on Purchase. And then down below that, you'll see the customer field, which is your Google Ads account that you've already linked. And then the conversion tracker, which is where you select which conversion tracker this purchase goal should go into in Google Ads. So I think I'll just choose converted lead just for the purpose of this video. We'll click save. And now the purchase goal is set up to post back to Google Ads every time it's attributed to Google. And it's going to go to the conversion tracker that I selected. So you can set up multiple goals per post back or you can also set up multiple postbacks. So if we wanted to set up another one, in this case, maybe for D3 retention, we can do that just by selecting another conversion tracker. And now we can set up multiple postbacks and these are all going to help our campaigns get optimized automatically um, through what Google Ads does. We have more documentation below this video that will walk you through setting up custom postbacks to those external BI systems mentioned earlier as well as some different parameters you can set up on your postbacks as well, including a list of macros that are supported. So if you have any questions at all about postbacks, please feel free to reach out at any time. We are always more than happy to help.